This is the channel where we learn from some of our favorite singers. My name is Liza Quinn. Thank you so much for joining me. If you are new here, I want you to know I have reacted to Chakra Khan and I love him. If you're not new here, you already know how I feel about this. You guys have been tagging me on this video. I have been waiting this entire audition season to be able to see this audition. I feel like I become besties with everyone that I react to on this channel, even though they don't know I exist. So, hey, bestie Chakra. <laughs> Let's go ahead and dive right in. Hello, everyone. How are you? I'm good. Who are you? My name is Chakra Khan. I'm from Indonesia. I'm 31 years old. Yay. Wow. So you are a singer, yeah? Uh, yes. What kind of music yeah. do you love and what kind of song will you be singing for us um, today? I do really love blues. I do really love soul music. And I'm going to be singing soul music. Yeah? Yeah. It's called Make It Rain. Make It Rain. Make It Rain, yeah. Yes. I want to know, if you would win this, what would you do with a million dollars? I want to have animal shelter. Oh, wow. Oh, you do? Oh, you do. That is so nice. That. Sing away. Thank you very much. The stage much. is yours. <laughs> Something good is gonna happen, right? I think you have a great voice. Uh, I didn't like the track, though. Uh, is this planned? Did you bring another song with you? Yes. Okay, great. Great. Let's do it. <laughs> His face! I grew up with Bob Marley, and my lad father used to play this song all the time before I go to school. So uh, there's uh, no one gonna cry. Okay, I understand that this is television. I don't think it was necessary to stop him, but I feel like they're creating a moment. So I'm gonna let it slide, okay? But don't disrespect my chakra by stopping him. Ah. Okay, he's got this. Take any challenge. Eat a government charge in Trenchtown. The cry. Over, over serving the hypocrite. Be with the good people and me. So dry your tears, I say. If you know the words, sing with me. No woman will cry. No woman will cry. Oh, little darling, don't say. They could have told him to sing happy birthday 
and he would have put so much swag and soul and emotion in it, regardless of what they gave him. We'll talk more about that after. Let's see their reaction, and then I want to break some amazing things down because he's just one of my favorites. I mean, you have a very unique, very sexy, very raspy voice. <laughs> wow. I mean, you do have a voice that really stands out, that you will not forget. It's very, very special. Thank you. What did you think, Simon? It's so rare to hear voices like that. The second song, okay. Getting to Know You, makes you more interesting. It makes me feel like you're more of an artist. I absolutely love your voice. Love it. Thank you. Yeah! Me too, Simon. Thank you. It was so special to hear you sing that. Yeah. You made it all yours. I mean, and that voice of yours is spectacular. Very memorable, unique voice. Everybody was on their feet, and we could feel the emotion. You're amazing. Yes. Thank you very much. Thank no you lies. Very much. Yes. Second yes from me, Sophia. Of course, yes. Simon. Four yeses. We got four I yeses. got you. I knew it. I knew it. He's so humble. Thank you. He's good. Jack for God, give me a hug, man. Thank you. Your spirit you. is amazing. He's got a great sounding voice. Yeah. And it's a unique voice. Like when you hear that, you're going to know it's him. Yes. You are incredible. I'm, I'm ready. Oh, you flew a <laughs> yes, long way, is. and it was worth it. <laughs> yes. All right, God you bless you. Chakra Khan is so amazing. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. He is ready. And they know he's ready. I want to break down a couple things vocally that were so beautiful. These auditions, they're really challenging for many, many reasons. The obvious reasons. I always say this. I commend anybody who does these shows that it's not easy to put yourself in these situations. At the end of the day, these are television shows. So these producers, they have to sort of gauge what they think is gonna create good television moments. And you are sort of a character in this production while trying to tackle all the things that they kind of throw your way. First of all, I have to say, Make It Rain was coming out absolutely beautiful. When he hit that first chorus, timbre was absolutely gorgeous. So having that sort of dramatic pause and then having him restart created this like sort of shocking, confused moment for the audience that ultimately showed that he could tackle anything and that he could sing anything and that he could still bring the audience to their feet regardless of what they kind of put him through. I also love how he took it like a champ took it in stride, he was completely relaxed. He already is a pro and they know that. Let's actually break down a couple vocal things that he does so beautifully that he did with a song as simple as No Woman No Cry. And why I think it was extra effective in this case is because it wasn't necessarily about the vocal acrobatics for this one. It was about pure emotion and it was about taking a song that you wouldn't expect him to maybe do. Let's break it down. People Okay, I'm glad I landed right there because on the hypocrites, that little ability to let the voice crack in just the right emotional way, to lean into uh, this sort of like hypocrites, that fry. There's a certain twang, right? It's not sitting low, it's ah, which is where that soul comes in. For those of you who don't know or have never seen me explain this, a fry is when the vocal cords are sitting just close enough together to create that friction. It shouldn't hurt, it's just a little vibration. He's letting it relax open so that a little bit of air flows through and then bringing them back together. If you can just get in that place and like play with the voice there, play with what happens to your voice when you're in that emotional state, you can create amazing moments like this. And obviously his tone is unique and gorgeous and stunning, but being able to lean into those things elevates it, makes him an extra special interpreter. So dry your tears, I say. 
Okay, his moment where he gets the audience to sing along with him. That's always great when you can just show yourself as a complete artist who is not just there to showcase the vocals, but to show that you can engage a crowd, that you can stand alone on a stage and engage everyone who's in that venue. You're able to create a moment and a memorable moment. No woman will cry. And then it's chill inducing where they sing back. Now let's just go over a little bit of phrasing and I'll explain what that is. No woman cry. Oh, that smile at the end. So phrasing is when you take a tempo. I've got my Google metronome. You can see I'm going to put it to 78. This feels a little fast, but let's say no woman will cry. His version felt a little bit slower, but let's say it's here. We could do, no woman will cry. Or we could do, no woman no cry. Or we could do, no woman no cry. So basically I'm taking the same melody, but within the parameters of that tempo, I'm deciding if I want to keep it straight, if I want to hold back on some notes, if I want to taper some notes, if I want to go a little fast, if I want to rush some parts, all within that time frame. So now that you know what phrasing is, see how you can apply that to your stuff. And you see, that's how we can learn by watching our faves. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. Hope to see you next time. Check out some more videos right here. If you like my top and you want to rent it, you can always rent it in the US at thelimitlesscloset.com. Some of the clothing that I wear is also for sale at shopladyweight.com. Hope to see you guys next time. Bye.